Good morning and thank you for joining us on Renew, a daily devotional for you. It's Monday morning and it is Thanksgiving week. Today's Renew is entitled, A Renewed Gratitude. The definition of gratitude is says this, the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. I want to ask you this question this morning as we start. How much appreciation do you have for our great God? A renewed gratitude. Our scripture is found in Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Let me read those for you real quick. Many of you are familiar with this story uh, from God's word here, how Jesus heals the 10 lepers. It says this, And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him 10 men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were all cleansed. And one of them, yes, just one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, were there not 10 cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto them, and he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. A renewed gratitude. Gratitude always leaves us looking at God and away from our circumstances. To reflect on your blessings is to rehearse God's accomplishments. To rehearse God's accomplishments is to discover his heart. To discover his heart is to discover not just good gifts, but the good giver. And you know what? In this devotion, in this passage that we read today, this certainly this one man discovered and knew the good giver. Ten men with leprosy met Jesus in this story. They had a skin disease, and they were not allowed to live with healthy-skinned people unless they were cured. Jesus healed all ten of the men, and they were able to return to the company of other people. Once again, this is a story of Jesus' great healing power. This particular story, though, includes an unusual detail. After finding that he was healed, one of the ten men came back to Jesus. He was so grateful to be healed that he shouted praise to God and then threw himself at Jesus' feet. Jesus welcomed and praised this man as someone who truly knew how to praise God. Even though the man was a Samaritan, an outsider who wasn't supposed to know much about God and faith, Jesus also asked, where are the other nine? And we are left wondering how thankful they really were. By praising the man who said thank you, Jesus shows us that receiving healing is best when it flows into a life of thanking and praising God. It's one thing to receive salvation from Jesus, and it's an even better thing to live out our appreciation for that salvation by sharing Jesus' love with the world. Again, let me ask you a question I asked you in the beginning. How are we living out and showing this appreciation and this gratitude for our great God? I want to encourage all of us to let gratitude take root in our hearts and live our life as a life to praise Jesus for all that he has done for you. Today, maybe you want to write down many different ways that God has done wonderful things for you and your family's life. And remember, as we, as I read before, 
Gratitude always leaves us looking at God and away from our circumstances. A renewed gratitude. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you today for waking us up. Thank you, God, for certainly an abundant of blessings. So many things that we can thank you for. And I pray, God, that you would give us a renewed gratitude, appreciation for all that you have done for each and every one of us, not only this week, but each and every day. I pray, Lord, that we will have a renewed gratitude. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for joining us on Renew. I pray that all of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving week this week. And remember Romans 12, 2, our theme verse, not to be conformed to this world, but be renewed by the transforming of our minds and prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Again, all of you have a wonderful day and remember today a renewed gratitude.